Ironclad RC here. Big B with you. Thank you for riding with me. Uh, today we've got the Delta Force 35 out on the water. Uh, you guys have followed the build and now you're going to see it run. My son's got his Rogue Wave 10 inch self reckoning um, tunnel hole boat by Horizon Hobby. He's going to be running with me as well. Uh, stay tuned. A tape on the hatch so that the, hat, uh, the hatch doesn't come off. Gavin here is going to get his F1 tunnel hole ready. Velcro straps that I've put on my battery cables so they don't come unplugged while we're running it. Gavin, he's turning on his transmitter and hooking up his battery. Nice. We just put the boat in, did a short run as you've seen. I've, um, I'm going to pull the tape off, pull the hatch off, and we're going to check the temperatures on our motor and the ESC, make sure all the electronics aren't too hot, make sure the uh, rudder cooling system is working correctly. Um, so I'm pulling the hatch off. I can feel a little bit of heat already. So, as you can see, there's no water in the hull of the boat, just a, just a little bit, which is a plus. Um, the motor is not hot at all. I can hold my finger on it. The ESC is not hot, maybe not, not even 80 degrees, 90 degrees. All right, so I just ran the boat and I noticed the boat was wanting to um, ride nose heavy. So what we're gonna do is uh, adjust the stinger. The stinger is fully adjustable. Um, all I have to do is loosen up this set screw here and you can adjust the thrust position on your stinger itself. I was running it down a little too much so we're going to push it up so that the stinger, the bottom of the stinger is directly in line with the hull. I'm gonna run it with a zero degree angle. May have to do a little bit more adjustments on that stinger. Got a little bit of cavitation when we want to start out on the get up. Go right here, get us a long pass in. This boat absolutely flies with that TP power and 150 amp ESC or 6S.
All right, so we just got done running the boat. There's just a little bit of water in here from that flip. Um, we're gonna check the temperatures on the motor. After those few passes, everything seems good on the motor. The ESC temperature seems seems good. Uh, the battery cables aren't hot. Every, everything seems to be working good for us. Um, we're going to adjust the stinger back here. Uh, once again, on our last pass, I had the boat catch air and flip. So that's telling me that our angle on this stinger is too high. We want to drop it down a little bit so, uh, so that she's not completely out of the water when we're running full speed. All right, we're gonna make the adjustments on this stinger here. Um, on my particular boat, you need a uh, Allen wrench with a socket of some kind. I'm gonna drop this stinger, which is this guy here, down. I'm gonna tighten it back up. Make sure you get it good and tight. There's a lot of torque back here. All right, so we're gonna put the hatch back on and give it another test run. Did the, the stinger angle again. All right, we, were, we did a few passes with the uh, Delta Force. Uh, I'm gonna do a prop change. We had an Octura 447 on the boat. On those few passes you've seen, we're gonna change over to a TFL 440 size propeller. Um, this is gonna help us achieve a little bit higher speed with this smaller blade in the water uh, and not quite so much lift as the 447. Octura 445 speed pass. Not quite as much lift. Still lifting. Maybe have to change the angle of our strut again. But she's running fine with that 445 Octura propeller. Here comes a, fat, a speed pass. Wow, she's running good. May have to put some trim tabs on it at one point. Get another speed pass. That was my cool down pass there. Woo! Get another cool down pass. Got this timing set high on this ESC. Next time we come out, we'll bring a GPS so we can get some speed. Big B, Ironclad RC. Come on. 